enlightened. Welcome to the Good Info Cafe, where multiple intelligences meet each day. You can pause on that. And this is where we serve info as food. So the Good Info Cafe, so I'm serving good information. So welcome Norman, Cherie Cherie, Mike, Dyer, and others. Good to see you back. This is my new channel. And so here's the new channel, InfoWaters JK at the Good Info Cafe. So I could get that. The Good Info Cafe is very important to me. And the original channel was InfoWaters JK, uh, MAT, Master of Arts in Teaching. And um, I'm going to put this video, my videos on both until um, uh, I can transfer over or just play it by ear that way. These are my notes, so I will stay focused and once again try to keep it around 10, under 10 minutes or right around 10 minutes. So welcome to the Good Info Cafe, Multiple Intelligences. Uh, moral and ethical intelligence is the highest priority and then the rest, I haven't prioritized those. Um, the subject today is how to get good, reliable information, how to get good, reliable info. And it's very relevant and timely, excuse me, during the presidential election USA 2020, because there is way too much mis and disinformation out there, way too much. It, it doesn't matter, liberal, progressive, conservative, uh, the right, the left, and the middle, independent, Misinformation and disinformation is harmful to everybody, unless you're, um, I think it was a Danish um, uh, uh, boat captains were asked by the Nazis, do you have any Jews? And however they said it, <laughs> and um, they said no. And that was good disinformation. So disinformation is not always bad. There are lies that you're using to protect the innocent. So a lie that's done to protect the innocent is good. So they also put cocaine or something in handkerchiefs and then had the dog sniff them so that they lost their sense of smell. So when the Nazis, the evil Nazis, real Nazis, not the ones that everyone throws around right now, but real Nazis had the dog sniff around because the Jewish people who are innocent were under the fish and way down below and the dogs couldn't smell them because their nose was numb from the cocaine and all the lying that went on to save those innocent was good disinformation. But disinformation is lying on purpose and misinformation is passing on bad information without checking first. So I can go into those definitions more. Today, I'm going to be giving, it's almost going to be a data dump. I'm going to give lots of information um, for lesson number one on how to get good, reliable information. So this is lesson number one. Last night was the introduction about information, and that's a huge subject. The question of the day is how fair, legal, and above board is and will be the presidential election USA 2020? And you go from zero to 100%. Zero means it's not fair, not legal, and not above board at all. Nothing was, was accurate or good or fair about it. And then 100% means all the votes were real. Um, they were all accurate. They reflected each individual American who was um, legal to vote and all that kind of stuff and rank it. And I'm not going to, maybe I'll give my ranking, maybe I won't. And then I, I uh, gave a grade to the regular media last night and I'm going to give it again because it's so important and they get a D minus because they're not very reliable and here at the Good Info Cafe the whole goal is to give good reliable information wherever you are in the political spectrum on the religious or non-religious spectrum uh, wealthy not wealthy all it's it's for everybody who's willing to um, seek the truth um, are critical thinkers all right and then ranking, the continuum to rank how important getting good, reliable information is. And I rank it in the top 10 of for life. 
getting good, reliable information is in the top 10 priorities for life. And I can go into that more. The thesis of my book, and I said it last night, I know I got to go faster now. I got less than five minutes. It's difficult to get good, reliable information on important subjects. And the more that is at stake, the more difficult. And then the critical thinking code, I'll show that. So there you go. And this right here is on page, it says page 18 right down there. And then in the book is page 18 right there. And um, so that's that. Um, so information literacy, action literacy. Uh, action literacy is acting upon good, reliable information. So information literacy is gathering the good, reliable information, rejecting bad information and accepting good information and then acting upon it. And that can be done in war, in peace, in business, in education, in your daily life. All right, a lot of info in a short time. Yeah, data dump, <laughs> these are my notes. Master of Arts in Teaching, I showed it last night. So here's my, and I said Bachelor of Arts, so it's Master of Arts at Trinity College which is now Trinity University. It's Trinity College and Trinity University. And then my advanced professional certificate. So I had an advanced professional certificate in, in teaching um, and then multiple intelligence and then barriers. So the barriers to um, getting good, reliable information are here. And that's also in my book on page 19. Um, top 10 barriers to becoming information literate and action literate. Uh, information overload, information noise, overthinking, that gets in the way. Cognitive dissonance, which is difficulty managing conflicting feelings and facts. Projection, where you project your um, self onto others and say that that's what they are. Um, it can be good and bad. Ad hominem attacks, virtue signaling, vociferousness, and methinks thou doth protest too much, where you're. Um, overdoing it. We can go into that. Echo chamber, confirmation bias where you don't hear other perspectives. Um, pontificating, oh, I know everything. Misusing thoughts, prayers, discussions, committees as a cover for inaction and then disinformation, misinformation. These are ingredients for being action literate and I can go through that. Um, so here we go. Um, where are we at? Uh, uh, that's the world right there. Oh, can it Stay up there? No, it can't. Bye-bye. Watch. Watch the world. The world is kind of coming down right now around us. I think I've gotten everything out. So, with uh, two minutes left, I'm going to do my lesson on how to get good, reliable information. And that's what I serve here at the Good Info Cafe, serving right there. So, information literacy, action processor. Information literacy is the ability to extract, accept, and create good value from needed information sources. The critical thinking code is AACCRR equals V at G, T, and M. And that's here. AACCRR equals, or that's the subject, equals value at good, timely, good, timely, and miscellaneous, anything else. Let's see if you can see that. And, and my book is for sale. I think I get some royalties. I have gotten in the past, but anyway, now I see I have about a minute left. So to get good, reliable information, you check to see how accurate the information or around the subject is, how authentic is it, um, what, what, where do you have access and not access. All these have plus minus next to them, except for context, because everything has context. Uh, is it clear or not, plus or minus? Is it relevant or not? Is it refined or not? And um, the more refined it is, more relevant, more clear, you have access and accuracy, the more value you get. But it's it, timely is important. You could get all this and it could be too late and it's got to be good because um, Hitler did a lot of these things. The evil intelligence, the, the bad, the criminal part of intelligence agencies um, use this for bad, the bad part. And then, missile, okay. all right, so here's the, um, to quantify something, the a vote, so continuum. So this is what we're dealing with right now is the vote. I'm looking at the time, it's about to go. So um, thank you, um, and you're awesome at the Good Info Cafe.